So box and set the first of the day. Good luck to you if you're joining us here at Auckland a dozen today. Racing take on me, nice slow away there was Utah, Bolton wears the cat, that early speed out wide, Tiger Test finds the lead from take on me, wider still, there we go to Noddy's mistress, very chilly with a play, uh, followed down the paint there by Utah, bowled out wider there we go to Jolie, back to the tail, run ball and ice, they swing for home, out very, very wide here, Noddy's mistress will line him up, Noddy's mistress in here, uh, then we go to very chilly Tiger Test, take on me, nothing in that lot, uh, further back would have been Utah, Bolt, they followed back uh, towards the tail of the field uh, by where's the cat back, there was Jolie and run ball and ice. No doubt the winner will line up for that uh, minor for the second, third and fourth. Not his mistress. Uh, number six uh, will get you home here and uh, did the job nicely here the other day and uh, we'll do it again here. Uh, let's watch them go. The five and the nine very slow. Five very chilly. He's got home nice but in the meantime three in front Tiger Test. Shouldn't have been beaten from there but this is whiz past doesn't it? Uh, Not his mistress. Goes out very very wide and I think we'll line him up and get home. Have a look in behind here. We've got the three, uh, the one and the seven. See the one take on me and its blinkers. Six, seven, three, one. Six, seven, three, one. Just as simple as that when you slow him down, isn't it? Six, seven, three, and one. Five's come home from a long way back. 18 and 81, the winner's time. Splits 475 to the post, 14.06. Here they are from the hop, and you can see the red gets away nicely. Take on me. Going past that, though, is Tiger Tess. And out wider there is um, Noddy's Mistress. Balances up and gets home too strong here. Uh, does Noddy's Mistress for by Surf Laurie and Porcelain Girl are Marshall. The O'Regan team having a good run at the moment, too. Uh, the O'Regan... Uh, uh, teams I fly up, flash that and testify all but boxed for race number two and who's going to lead them out will be interesting set and ready bunny rolling up off, getting away nicely here. We're a quick cat, pure theatre. Naughty Cordy with a play in behind them. There we go. Two high fly gets a bit of a shuffle. It's inside. There is exciting girl. They followed a length or two back by Flash that. Further back in transit. Jackson Town testify your faves. Quick cat will lead him for home out by the track. There we go. Pure theatre. Quick cat will get in here from pure theatre. And then we go to a Naughty Cordy followed back by exciting girl. That's been followed home by Flash that. In behind runners was testify up. Wider would have been Jackson Town. And high flyer will be last. Quick cat. Off the red. And uh, the favourites are seven on the eight. They've done nothing. Absolutely nothing, have they? There's a bit of trouble. Let's have a look here. Uh, one, two, three, four as they go into the first bend here. And the three just nudges around the outside. Naughty Cordy, but the one just holds the rail there. And uh, getting around the outside was pure theatre. Just on the drift there for a stride or two was Naughty Cordy, but they swing for home. And Quick Cat has found the lead. The two pure theatre and Naughty Cordy still there. Hit them down the outside was Exciting Girl. And a flash that was there as well. But one will get home here over the two, three, five. One, two, five, three. In fact, I put it up. One, two, five, three. 1874. Two and a quarter by two and a quarter lengths, the official margins. Bit of squeezing up. As we go, the four just wanted to get off a bit, then it decides to run down. The two was the one that caused the problem there, I think, pure theatre. And just push one or two of them around, and that sent a high flyer right to the outside fence. But as they've gone to the post, one, two, five, three, eighteen, seventy-four. Two and a quarter, two and a quarter. No splits have been posted. ...of the day. Getting towards the start, set and ready the third. Racing, Tiger Karen, nice getting away with that. There is Paradise City up wide of the track. There we go to Path to Palmy, looking for a bit of room. There was Scott Me going, Cosmic Valero trying to get round them as Crafty Graham, all the rage. And last of all, there's Scott Me going, gets a shuffle on the corner. And Path to Palmy's found the lead and starting to skip three. And George in behind there is Tiger Karen. Path to Palmy, Tiger Karen followed home here now by Cosmic Valero. Crafty Graham in behind me would have had all the rage. That's followed the rail by Paradise City. And last of all was Scott Me going. Nice one here, path to Palmy, number six. Just keep doing the job, didn't it? Uh, around the outside of Tiger Karen. And has done it very, very nicely. Small field, good money, around about the $10 mark uh, in the end. Uh, good line off the boxes, uh, one, three, six, and the two as they charge the lever. Tiger Karen, no excuses, had the rail. And uh, path to Palmy, just a leg straight past and said, catch me if you can, couldn't. Six, one, four, and eight, 18 and 77. A length by, you just missed that, splits 469, and your post run was a 
14.08. So it gave them all a look, didn't it? Got out wide the track, the six. But it has just been too strong. It finished right down the middle, a length by one and a quarter lengths, those official margins. Uh, from the hop, you'll just see um, a good line from the whole lot of them here as they just charge off uh, um, from the boxes here. They all get away nicely on terms. A six out wide. The one Tiger Karen look had the rail, got out nicely. So pretty hard to find an excuse for your fave here. Uh, into the bend they go, and this just had too much speed straight round the outside. Path to Palmy. Uh, start 17, win number four by Path to Power from Spot. Up the Royal for set and ready for the fourth of the day. Bunny rolls up just about there. And racing, a good line, getting away early here as we're so lucky. And up there to the inside is Kiwi Girl, followed back there now by Blue Jean, Allison Cotswold, Prince, the outside. There we go to Runner Bath. Just in front of that is Chasing Shadows on the drift a little bit there. Nathan's champing out the back door. Ruby Trot on the corner and getting away. We're so lucky, he'll score here. We're so lucky. And then we go to uh, out wider there was Kiwi Girl, Blue Jean, Alice, followed back the camera there with Chasing Shadows and Cotswold, Prince, are further back on crossing. Uh, would have been there, Runner Bath, Nathan's champ, and at the tail of the field there uh, on crossing would have been Ruby Trump. Yes, I just had to find that early speed and it did today nicely too, didn't it? We're so lucky get you home uh, to beat uh, the 1, 2 and 7. 3, 1, 2 and 7, 18 and 40, so a good, good clip running 13 and 73 off the top 4 and 67. Found the lead nicely, did We're so lucky. Uh, well above average uh, this letter by Riddle Man Gentle Lee. Four and a half uh, by one and a quarter lengths. Uh, that official margin here. And uh, once he's wound up off the top, he's sprinted for home and got away to score very, very easily by Riddleman Gentle Lee for Ben and Barb Craig. Over the one Kiwi girl, James Black by Run Jake, Run Corborn, Stace, as you can see, getting out wide the track. The two, the inside, Blue Jean Ellis for the Such Jones's first four with number seven, the visitor in Chasing Shadows, getting up over the four. So here they are from the hop, not a bad sort of a lineup. The six just didn't know where to go in the early rush. Ruby Tron couldn't find his spot, but the Kiwi girl was on the inside and out wider. There we go to We're So Lucky. He pours it on, finds the lead, and really was the end of the section for the balance from there on in. 3 1 2 7, 18 and 40, 4 and a half by 1 and a quarter. Your splits uh, 4 67, 13 and 73. Race number five for the second heat of the racing series. We'll be back for that one at 3 32. All right, thanks to you, Peter. Yeah, we're so lucky getting up to beat the favourite Kiwi girl. Uh, Peter have every chance too, but the three to beat the one and the two, the inside three boxes is where you need to look. All right, uh, we're about to head off to Queensland very shortly. We'll have a look at the result coming through, though, from race number four and have a look at the market for the uh, second of the heats. New Zealand Racing Series heats uh, coming up very shortly. Also over the 318. Here's the result now, 3, 1, 2 and 7. $4.171, The Quinella was $5.60. The Trifecta, 3, 1, 2, $28.60. And the first four, 3, 1, 2, 7, $85. $85 for the first four, three, one, two, and seven, and they were the favoured runners. So there you go. Uh, if you boxed up the favoured runners, you'd be quite happy with that. Bit of a multi going through. Uh, bonus. Anyway, there's the double, six and three, 25, 90, six and one, ten dollars twenty, ten dollars. 20. Let's have a look at the market for race number five. Bright Star drawing out in box number eight should help it, although it does like it on the rail as well. Uh, unbeaten both one and eight, boxes one and eight. But anyway, it's 270, with the bookmakers, 550. Don't worry about the tote at this stage, no money in it. Captain Cooks, 450, 160. Uh, has won seven of his 16 races here. Uh, five, My Jack Attack, $5.180. And four, Mother Lee at sixes and twos. And Kiss and Kate. Loves it down on the rail. Oh, mind you, it wins from anywhere just about. Uh, it's at $6 and $2. Wide open affair again, as you can see. Let's take a break. The other side of it, well, we'll probably build in to Paul Dolan and the second from uh, Caloundra. Perrin Canto, Italy's undefeated champion three-year-old in 2007. Perrin Canto beat the older horses at group level over six furlongs in a time of 108.6. He didn't just beat them, he whipped them. Perrin Canto is the leader. Perrin Canto. This is an opportunity to cross your mare with the hot street cry bloodline. Standing at $4,000 plus GST. Contact Little Avondale today. <laughs> 
Hi, I'm Jess Davidson. Join me, Craig the Well Thompson, Greg O'Connor and a host of other harness racing lovers on the box seat. We find you winners, discuss the topics of the day and profile the young and the old up and down this great country of ours. And if you're lucky enough, you may get a mention for better or worse on Fence Talk. The box seat every Wednesday night at 8.30pm on Trackside. All right, uh, about to head to uh, Caloundra now as we milled into race number two. Just watching the box seat advert. Don't forget this Thursday off the track, Jim Marks, uh, well-known vet here in the Matamata, one of the uh, well, foremost vets in New Zealand, quite frankly. He's going to be our guest Thursday. A lot to talk about, aside from his veterinary work, but all the horses he's bred and raced over the years. So uh, Jim Marks and can advise you too the following Thursday, Anne Brown has committed herself and confirmed that she'll be with us. And then completing the month, Philip Leishman. What a lineup! Jim Marks, Anne Brown, Philip Leishman. Uh, they are our Thursday guests. Catch it live off the track, uh, Channel 36 at 10 o'clock. OK, Tom's Luck, $2.40, $3.00. Jim Byrne to do the riding. A lot of first starters in this. It's a three-year-old maiden event over 1,000 metres. Uh, Craig Liart has got uh, race day form. It's at eights. Uh, eights with the tote as well. Uh, stick fighter. $6.850 as uh, another first starter by Jet Spur. And uh, as you can see, favourite is Tom's Luck, three-year-old by Bradbury's Luck, very short, changed, uh, trained by Jason McLaughlin, uh, where there is smoke, there is fire, fair to say, with the first starter. Uh, super sorted, and that is uh, horse number 12, another Bradbury's Luck filly, stands at Glen Logan, Bradbury's Luck, and also filly short too, Barry Baldwin, Michael Cale. So there's good support around the uh, two first starters. And interesting to see Paul Dolan now going with the uh, horse with a trial form, uh, should I say trial form race day experience. That is uh, Miss Helter getting in off the ballot from the first start of Super Storted. He put in Diamond Ease uh, at 13s and 380 and two Craigley Art. So he's away from the favourite, Tom's Luck. So unaware of Paul Dolan's uh, thoughts here, Jason McLaughlin, they have backed this one in. Three year old by Bradbury's Luck and uh, hasn't been to the trials as well. So uh, fair, say, fair to say uh, that uh, there is obviously a lot of confidence around the nine with its track work. Yet to be to the trials, looks well, but you'd expect at this time of the year over there, sun, a bit of warmth on their back as they start to build into their uh, spring, summer months. There is the four, Limpopo, uh, which is well-named, and uh, Jeffrey Gould, two-year-old, claiming... Two and a half minutes out from a state. Now, well named too, Limpopo. Those of you that have, uh, know South Africa, uh, three year old by Botswana. So well named. Okay, shouldn't be too far away from joining the team there as uh, we look at the red colours uh, of the four. Over the back is the 12. This is Super Sort, another first start of the grey, as you'd expect, being by Bradbury's Luck. Let's get on track anyway as we build into this the second. Race number two. Plenty of first starters here. Makes it a bit tricky, Bernie. Yeah, look, it's a very tricky race, Matt. Um, my tip is actually the four limp. Popo, who's eight out to nines and fifteens there. I just hate changing off a horse uh, unless it doesn't look particularly well. And he did look great in the yard. This horse, he's out to tens now. Look, I had him on top at Ipswich, so and he, he never got to crack at the race. That was only eight hundred, but he's had another couple of weeks work since then. So um, I did think he looked very well in the yard. I know, I know they were really confident at Ipswich, so um, I'm going to keep him on top, even though I have reservations because there's a few in the market here that are are being backed. So obviously for second I'm going to put in the favourite which is Tom's Luck. Jason McLaughlin very confident with this horse and he's usually on the money. Um, 250 into 220 as we speak now out to 230. Now the third one they're coming for here is the 12 Super Sorted 460 into 380. So Super Sorted would be the best backed here at the moment and Michael Carl and Barry Ball would have a fantastic record. He's drawn the car park this horse though. Um, but then again it's only a thousand metres. A great run out of the chute here and you can see him get across. And uh, one thing Barry's horses are known for is, is having early speed out of the gates and uh, I just hope mine does. I've got one in work with him too. Let her think it's crossed she gets out of the gate fast. But for fourth I'm going to put in the Daryl Hanson trained stick fighter. Know nothing about him. Thought he looked good in the yard and um, he is here on course $4 out to $4.20 but a tricky little race. Still could miss the winner but certainly um, going for a bit of value here in the four. Four, nine, twelve and eight Matt. 